Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to start crafting and using the build planner and gathering resources in the game. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer than what uh, the previous ones have been, but I promise you it will be a useful tutorial. Um, as promised, I did install a mod to quiet down the sounds of the drill and stuff of that nature. Uh, I don't suspect there will be much drilling going on that you guys will see, but uh, it will be there. As you can see, I've already drilled out some stone, and I've put it into the survival kit, and I still have some stone in my inventory. If we click over here on production while we're looking at the survival kit, this is the only thing we can build right now. So, if you hit shift, well... Let's start with this. If you click one, left click at one time, it will build one of these little bags right here. If you hold shift and left click, it will build 100. And if you hold, uh, I'm sorry, control and left click, it will build another 10, I believe. Yes, 10. And if you hold control and shift together, it will build a thousand. So as long as you have the rocks to put in there, it will keep building them. So let's go get some more rocks. Turn our lights on here so we can see. There's our hole. And if you remember previously, I had made the comment that when you are drilling if you hold down the F key it will gather the rocks up and if you look in the center bar right above the uh, center HUD you will see that it is filling up and once it's all filled up we won't be able to drill any or we can still drill but uh, you won't be able to pick up anymore now there is a mod that automates this for you. Um, and it's a great mod to have. Now that we're back here at the survival kit, we need to put everything into, uh, into the survival kit so we can keep turning stone into useful resources. And there's two ways to do that. One way is we can press the I key and we can drag and drop like that but the more useful way is if you hold down the alt key while you're looking at the back of the survival kit and then press your middle mouse button you'll see it says all possible components were deposited open up your inventory again and you'll see all of the stone is gone and has been moved over to here so we're going to go get ahead and uh gather up a lot of stone and get some stuff crafted and then i'll show you guys we'll be back to show you how to uh start crafting things and how to use the build planner so i will see you in a little bit all right we are back and as you can see oops wrong button as you can see we've got us some nickel silicon and iron so what are we going to build well in order to move through our progression tree, we need to build us a basic assembler because it's going to make building other things easier. So, to do that, we need to build some blocks. So we're going to open up our uh, progression menu again, and we need some of these uh, light armor blocks right here and if we look over we've got it highlighted if we look over and we want to use you see here it shows large and small grid in the right hand corner of the far right side of the blocks menu and it tells you how many blocks you need or how many steel plate you need you need 25. all right so let's get uh let's get some steel plate going and the way we're going to do that is point towards the back of our survival kit here hit the F key then click on production 
And now you can see here's the items we, we can produce and here's our steel plate. Remember we said if we want a hundred steel plate, we hit shift. Well, we need more than a hundred because if it takes 25 steel plate to build, well, no, we can do a hundred because there is one little thing when it comes to putting anything down. Right? You can see that the outlines of the box are green right now. So let's come over here. And I want this to align with gravity. So I'm going to put this right on the edge of that hole right there. So to build that deal, we had eight steel plate in our inventory. To put just the building block down requires one steel plate. So that means we can place seven more of these. And now we're out of steel plate and this is red now. So that will get us uh, kind of on our way. Let's uh, let's cancel that. We don't need, you know, that many steel plate to get started what we're going to get started. All right, so we got us a little box going here. Build it out a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do is we need power. So the first thing we need to do is build us a windmill so that we can start generating power. And to do that, we're going to fly. So I went and got our hydrogen bottle, as you can see here. If we hit the G key and come back into our menu, type in wind, there's our windmill. If you press the center mouse button, and then look over at the lower right hand corner where it says build planner you'll see there's a windmill there now okay we hit escape and let's go back to our survival kit and then hit uh shift middle mouse buttons and it says all components were successfully put into production so let's see the case here so we got a lot of things to build, but uh, it says that we're going to be short on some stone. Well, maybe. And if that's the case, then we will uh, do what we have to do. But in the meantime, let's get this tower built. And I will discuss this a little bit more in depth later on. But because this is a windmill, we are going to want to build this up a little bit at least nine blocks off the ground so it's at one two three four and I'm gonna put a tenth one for good measure then we're gonna go to number seven what are we we're gonna need the interior plates to even get this started so let's get back down here and since we put this in on build mode what we can do get our torch out and then hit the middle mouse button and it'll say cannot withdraw three girders and whatever else parts and that's because they haven't been built yet right so there were some parts that hadn't been built yet let's see so it's still building 23 interior plates that's fine let's get up here and get our windmill set up there we go we're good there start building it we're gonna at least get to the functional level right which means that it'll start working so from this point on we don't have to put the additional interior plate in there um, it will run as it is right now 
We'll go ahead and middle mouse button, get the rest of the interior played out. And if we go into our G menu, now if you look at Build Planner, you'll see the windmill's not there anymore. It's because we were able to get all the parts for it. But the next thing that we have to build is an assembler. All right, actually, let's get a refinery going. So there's the refinery. We'll middle mouse button there. And that'll put it in our build planner. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get the assembler as well. And we will middle mouse click on it. Now it's in our build planner. You can put up to eight parts in your build planner at one time. All right. Then we'll shift middle mouse key right there. It says putting all parts into production. I'm fairly certain we're not going to have the parts to do it. So I am going to get some more stone together so that we can get to uh building that and once we get the uh assemblers built and the refinery built then we will uh discuss how resources play into that and what the difference is between refining ore in a refiner as opposed to a survival kit and building in a re in an assembler as opposed to a survival kit so i will be right back all right so we're back i have already built the refinery and the reason i built it and placed it before i came back was because i wanted to show you something so if you look let me click that button there all right so if you look at the refinery right here you'll see there's this yellow uh Square port and there's one on the other side as well and then if we get our assembler and we look at it you will see that it also has a yellow port as well in order to connect these two up you have to align those ports up together like so uh what's it saying i'm missing Oh, I don't have any steel plate. Where the heck is all my steel plate? Uh, it's not in there. There it is. All right. So we have to line these two up. So to do that, you'll hit your keys just like you did before. Home, delete, whatever. Right, and you can orientate this block however you want. Left click to put it down. Get out your welding torch. Double click on it. And let it get to building. All right. That's all built up. Now we have a refinery and an assembler. And they're connected together. So what does that mean? That means that if I go over here and I hit F. And I look inside the uh, refinery right now. You can see I have already put some stone in there. There's some ingots in there as well. But if we click this button right here, it'll show all connected inventories. So we can click that and now we can see the assembler right here. If we go into production, we have the basic assembler here. And that is it. You'll notice the survival kit's not showing up in this list. And that's because the survival kit is over there, not connected to this. So if we wanted that survival kit to operate with the rest of this, we would have to find a way to connect them together. And that is for another tutorial. And the final part of the crafting system that we need to add is a storage container. Because otherwise, these are going to fill up really fast with parts and what have you. So what we're going to do is click on our G menu and we're going to look up storage. Let's see, what do we got? Storage shelf, so that didn't work. Let's look up containers. There we go. So we got a couple of different types. Um, this large industrial cargo container is uh, part of the industrial DLC. So we're gonna ignore that one for right now, but we have other ones. And they're kind of funny how they're set up but they make sense from a gameplay balance standpoint 
So this is a medium cargo container right here. It can only be used on small grid, but we're on a large grid structure. So that means we need to either use a large cargo container or we need to use a small cargo container. Now there are small and large cargo containers for small grid and large grid. However, the medium cargo container only fits on a small grid. So if we want to build a small cargo container, middle mouse click, let's get it in our build planner. Uh, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. Need to make sure you got the right block highlighted over here. We're going to middle mouse click and get that put into our build planner. But we have a problem. And that problem is one of the components is called a metal grid. Now, while we can craft a metal grid in our assembler, we we'll go over here and look at it. Here's the metal grid right there. It does require a component that we do not have, and that is cobalt. So in order to craft this, we need to find cobalt. Or another way to do it is we only need four of those grids. So if I come over here and I look at this atmospheric thruster, if you look at its components, you'll see that it's built with one metal grid. So we could grind down all four of these thrusters and get that metal grid that we need. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to hit shift, middle mouse click. We're going to put everything into production. Now we already know that our metal grid's not going to build. Already know it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to grind down these right here and we'll grind them completely off the ship. Get all that put in there. I am going to see how much of this stuff we can pull out. We can't get the 20 metal, or, uh, I'm sorry. What is it? The 20 steel tubes? But we should have everything else. But we're going to put this on our hot bar like so. And this is our storage container. As you can see, it has a connecting point on all six sides. So all the way around four and then one on top and one on bottom. So we can pretty much do anything we want with that. Now, here's the kicker. If we start welding this up and we close that little port off, we may not be able to use it. And that could be a problem because we still have parts that we need to craft. Now, whether or not we really need them or not is uh, mostly irrelevant. And I believe we have enough parts to craft. So we'll just tap it once. Let's see, we still need the 20 steel tube. So let's uh, cancel that. Cancel all that. Everything else is in there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, and we're gonna go to our assembler here. And we're going to go to disassemble. So we're going to disassemble all of this and get some of our resources back. And hopefully it'll be enough resources that we can build those small steel tubes. And if it is, then we can go ahead and finish this uh, storage container off. And that will work perfect for us. So I will be right back after I get these small steel tubes built. All right, so we got our small steel tubes. We've built our cargo container. And now everything can go into this cargo container because everything uses what's called the conveyor system. So if we look at the basic assembler and we scroll down, right down here to the bottom, it says use a conveyor system. We can turn that on and off. And basically what that means is if we put a stone or iron ore or whatever into the small cargo container, the refinery, or I'm sorry, yeah, I'm, my bad. The refinery will automatically pick that up. Now, if we have parts in the small cargo container and we want to build something, the assembler will automatically pull it from the small cargo container through the refinery and into the assembler in order to 
create whatever it is that we're trying to make. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the basics of crafting. The next episode that we do will be over the various power systems, I believe, is what I've got planned. And there's a couple of different types. Today we learned about the, the wind turbine, and we've talked about batteries. But uh, there's a couple of more that uh, are in the game. But I specifically want to talk about wind turbines in the next episode. Um, because as I alluded to earlier, there are rules with these wind turbines. So, I will see you folks in the next episode. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and watching. And until next time, remember, lay to win. Bye-bye now.